Greetings out there in YouTube land from the planet Earth. I made a mistake in the last one, so I deleted it. Welcome to uh, Quick Tip 3. I'm going to call it 3A, right? I made a mistake on one word. Bed bugs are a real problem in the States, right? I all kinds of people seem to have using all kinds of chemicals and all that stuff, right? I really don't think they understand the, how bad they are from. My wife brought some stuff up once and it had some of those little critters, and I've never experienced it before in my life, right? But I'll tell you one thing about a bunch of little critters. They sure don't like alcohol. You got your little rubbing alcohol there? Give it a little spray, and guess what? You know, the little critters are going to die and be terminated, right? Just vacuum your bed later when it dries up. The fumes, you know, everybody knows the alcohol, rubbing alcohol evaporates very quickly, right? Thing is, you got to remember the fumes are flammable, right? So you let the, let them dissipate a bit before you go running around lighting matches and lighters in the room, okay? Open a window or something after, you know, however you want to do it, right? Thing is, they're going to get it in there and it kills them. It worked on the black widow spiders. A lot of people don't know that they come in. A lot of produce comes into the States first, into the Gulf area, and then moves up, and then comes up to Canada or some produce, right? And so you got some there, and I didn't even know about the problems that they had down there, right? And I lived in an apartment at the time. They got a little space under the door, right? And the laundry room was right next to me, and somebody left a box in the laundry room that had a little spider web in it. They never thought about it. Well, I had some the little suckers come in there, crawl under the door, and they ended up making um, a nest under my wife's chair. You know, she had one of them recliners that rotates around. You know, the really nice ones, right? And they built a nest under there. And I was laying down one time, and a sucker came on my head and bit me in the forehead. I, what the hell was that, you know? And, and my wife said, wow, you're like, I had this bump on my uh, my forehead, right? And I said, this, you got to be kidding me. And she said, I thought that's what I was saying. She goes, wow, you're slurring really bad. So I popped a couple of these uh, antihistamines, up, and they're called Novo Phenarem, N O V O. P H E N I R A M. It's a different class of antihistamine, different than Benadryl, right? But this is awesome for insects bites, itching, rashes, you name it, right? This stuff is incredible. It's very mild because I have I had a heart problem that's really bad, as you know. So I wanted something mild, right? And it works better than Benadryl and something, but nothing wrong with Benadryl, because that's what it'll get into giving you when you go to the hospital for a bug bite and stuff anyway. But this stuff is awesome, right? You can take a couple of them and not worry about overdoing it. I only do like, like I said, like I do one, right? I, you know, I'm allergic to some things in the allergy. You know, your nose runs and all that. It came in handy. And I got a bottle of 100, um, for around 15, 16 bucks, I get a bottle of 100, right? Why am I going to pay the ripoff prices of Benadryl when I got something that works just as good that actually works on stuff that Benadryl doesn't better, you know, for less money? Come on. You buy one of those little packs, it costs you as much as getting a bottle of 100. I'm going to go with the bottle of 100. Just ask for it, right? It's a little yellow pill. You can look it up online. Stuff is awesome. I can't pronounce the word very well, but it's a C H L O R P H E N I R A M I N E M A L A E, I'm sorry, M A L E A T E tablets, right? You figure that out, that big long name out. Maybe some of you might know it, right? But on the label, it says Novo Feneram, right? A little bottle with a label. It's got a little green cap. And I tell you, it stuff's great. It worked on the Black Widows. And uh, when I went to the hospital, the nurse didn't even tell the doctor that it was a Black Widow. It's a bug bite. But the guy took the time. I was sitting there for like over two hours. And he said, it's some kind of bug bite. And I said, oh, a Black Widow. I said, well, why did you say that? I said, we did. And it was, well, you know, it doesn't look that bad. I said, yeah, because I took a couple things. Said, oh, okay. And he sent me home, right? I mean, what a waste of time going there. Like, I don't. I have much faith in these quacks, okay? But the one guy did tell me, though, that, you know, I mean, most people don't know what a kind of a problem it is because all the produce comes up there and it stops in that little gulf area and they got all kinds of problems. And a lot of the produce that comes in, people don't know, you can get snakes and scorpions and different kinds of spiders in there because, you know, they're hanging around those areas. Nobody pays attention, okay? But it's nice to know that a little rubbing alcohol goes a long way if you spray it. Just remember to, you know, vent the room after because you don't want to be lighting a uh, match because alcohol fumes are flammable. But they sure do a good job. You don't need much, just a little bit where, where problem area is, right? But some of you might want to spray your whole bed down a little bit, you know? It's nice to know that it'll be dry very quickly because the fumes evaporate. But I highly recommend opening a window or something like that. Because, you know, you don't have that much fumes in a room, right? You know, I don't think it'd be really too good for you to breathe them myself that long. You know, you'd probably get drunk or something. You know, I don't know. But I know it should, the bugs sure don't like it. And it works on a lot of bugs. And it's quick and easy and no chemical mess to clean up after or worry about. I would recommend vacuuming your bed after the bed bugs anyway, though, right? You know, just get them out there for your own peace of mind and then get a good night's sleep. Enjoy this tip. Bye-bye.